Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to find the volume of a sphere. Before we get into the actual equation for the volume of a sphere, let's talk about how the volume of a sphere relates to a cylinder and a cone. So if we think about a sphere, we know if we were to cut it in half, we would have two halves of a sphere, which we call a hemisphere. And so at the top of the screen, we actually have an equation that the volume of a hemisphere is equal to the volume of the cylinder minus the volume of a cone when the height of the cone and the height of the cylinder is equal to the radius of the cylinder, cone, and the hemisphere here. So if we think about our formula for volume of a cylinder, we have it is equal to pi r squared times height, right? And for the volume of a cone, we have one third pi r squared times height. Now our note here tells us that the height is the same as the radius, so we could go ahead and write this as pi r squared times r and one third pi r squared times r. Now there we have r squared times r, so our exponent rule tells us we can add the exponents together. So this is gonna give us pi r cubed minus one third pi r cubed, okay? So now here we have pi r cubed, we have one third pi r cubed. So if we think about now subtracting these, we still have this pi r cubed here, but it would be like we have one minus one third because there's really a one right there. So one minus one third would be two thirds and we have pi r cubed. So there's our volume of a hemisphere. And like we said at the beginning of the video, a hemisphere is half of a sphere. So if we wanna find the volume of the sphere, we just multiply that by two. So two thirds times two would be four thirds pi r cubed. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is our equation for the volume of a sphere, four thirds pi r cubed. So now let's use that to do some examples here. For number one, we're just gonna find the volume. So we're gonna start off and say volume is equal to four thirds pi r cubed, but we are given the diameter. So we know that if the diameter is six, then the radius is three. So we have volume is equal to four thirds pi times three cubed. All right, so three cubed is 27. So now we have four thirds times pi times 27. So we're gonna do 27 times four, and then I'm gonna divide that by three and I get a volume of 36 pi cubic feet, okay? And now we'll do 36 times pi in our calculator to give us a decimal approximation, and that's gonna give us 113.10 square feet. So that would be our volume for number one. Number two, we're gonna find the volume, but we are given the surface area. So we have to think, how do we find the surface area or what is our surface area equation for a sphere? We've done a previous video on that and I will link that in the cards right now. So we know that surface area is equal to four pi r squared. Well, our surface area here is 676 pi. So we're gonna set that equal to four pi r squared. And we're gonna solve for that radius so that we can use r for our four thirds pi r cubed formula for the volume. So we're gonna divide here by four pi, those pi's are gonna cancel, and we're gonna do 676 divided by four, and that gives us 100, 169 is equal to r squared. Now we can take the square root. 169 is a perfect square, we get 13, so our radius here is 13. Now we can use 13 because eventually, you know, we wanna find the volume here. So now I'm gonna go off just to the side a little bit and say volume is equal to four thirds pi r cubed, and we're gonna plug in 13 for r. So volume equals four thirds pi times 13 cubed. So 13 cubed gives us 2,000, so let me go ahead and write four thirds pi. And now we have 2,197. So I'm gonna multiply that by four, divide it by three, and that's gonna give us a volume of 2,929.33. in cubic inches. And we need to write our pi on there. So 2,929.33 pi cubic inches. And now we're gonna multiply this by pi to get our decimal approximation. So here we get 9,202.77 cubic inches. And that would be our volume for number two. All right, for number three, we have a composite solid and we wanna find the volume of it. So if it kinda of looks like an ice cream cone, at the bottom we have a cone and then our top shape is a hemisphere. So instead of thinking about four thirds pi r cubed, we can do half of that, so two thirds pi r cubed. 
So let's go ahead and find the um, volume of the cone here, okay? So that's gonna be volume is equal to one third pi r squared times the height. So volume is equal to one third pi. Our radius here is six, so six squared, and our height of the cone is 12. So volume equals one third times pi times 36 times 12. So if we wanna go ahead and do, let's say one third times 36, because that's gonna give me 12, and then I know 12 times 12 is 144. So we'll leave that as 144 pi right now, and then we'll add that to our other volume in terms of pi. That way we'll get our total volume in terms of pi, and then we can approximate it if we want to, which we will. So we'll put stars by this for now, and we will underline it. Okay, so now let's go and find the volume of the hemisphere. Okay, so the volume of the hemisphere we're gonna say is volume is equal to two thirds pi r cubed. So two thirds there because we are doing half of a sphere. All right, so we have volume is equal to two thirds pi. Our radius here is six, and we're gonna cube that. So six cubed is 216. So four thirds pi times 216. So we're gonna do 216 times two and then divide that by three. So we get volume is equal to 144 pi. So we're gonna put a star by that and we're gonna underline it. And now we have our two volumes that we can add together and they just both happen to be exactly the same. So we're gonna add 144 to 144. So we get a composite volume of 288 pi and this is in cubic feet. And we'll do 288 pi in our calculator to get 904, so this is our decimal approximation, 904.78 cubic feet. Okay, so that's how you find the volume of a sphere.